Hey guys! So, this is a really weird angle, just so you know. I, well, you, you can see that, but this is a weird angle, and I'm sorry, but I'm in the car, and me and my mom just went to the thrift store. Wanna say hi? Hi! Hey, hi! Yeah, my mom's driving. Um, anyway, we went to the thrift store, and I got some books, so I wanna show those off. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> okay, so. First up, I got these books. Um, I don't really know what the series is called. Uh, moon, moon or something. <laughs> moon, or maybe it's Moon. It should be called the Moon series or something. <laughs> I don't know. But um, oh, Moonlight is the first book in the series. It's oh, they're the series called Dark Guardian series. It's the Dark Guardian series. So. Um, it's supposed to be a really trashy werewolf film. Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> but it's supposed to be a really trashy werewolf romance, and I love... There's a difference between trash books and trashy books, and I love me some trashy books, so... I mean, I don't read just trashy books, but, you know, on the occasion, I do love me some... Oh! Sorry! I do love me some trashy books. So there's that one, and then I also I got the second one. Which, by the way, this one's called Moonlight. And then I got Full Moon, which mm, one ninety nine for both of these. By the way, um, and then I also got the third book in the series. I don't know how many books there are in the series, but they had the first three books. Um, Dark of the Moon. It's what this one's called. Um, these just look really fun and trashy, so why not try them out? I like I actually kind of like the cover for this one. I don't know why. Like when you bend it, it just looks. I don't know. It just looks cool. Anyway, got these. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I don't really read that much romance, but I mean, there's werewolves in it, so. I don't read a lot of werewolf stuff either, but I mean, it's supernatural, so why not? Alright, next, I got, this is a anthology for the Night World series by LJ Smith. If you don't know who LJ Smith is, she wrote the Vampire Diary series, which I've only read the first book in that series, but I'm planning on reading the other ones. But um, anyway, this sounded really good, um, it's just about vampires <laughs> um i'm not gonna say anything more but i'm really excited this has the first three books in the series Ta -da! look at that spine that's gorgeous no cracks either secret vampire da daughters of darkness and spellbinder are the three books in the series the first three books um this is you know, volume one of the anthologies for this series. So I'm really excited to read this. It sounds really good. I love vampires. And this is by LJ Smith, so this is probably going to be a really good trashy book. I'm really excited. <laughs> All right, next. Um, I got this. I collect the Who Was books. Um, so I got Who Was Marco... Marco Polo. I didn't have this one yet, so I love history. And these are really short, and they're they're basically just pamphlets, honestly. They're like not really a regular like print. They're like pamphlet length. So, yeah, <laughs> just a little book. Finished in less than an hour usually. Then I got Buffy the Vampire Slayer: Sons of Entropy. Um, this is book three in the Gatekeeper series. So there's that. Pretty nice condition. I mean, it's kind of messed up at the bottom there. And I mean, right there is a little creased. But I mean, it's not the worst condition. And I got it on sale as well. So, good deal. Alright, next. This is Middle School, The Worst Years of My Life by James Patterson. 
I already own this book, but I have it in paperback, and this is in better condition and in hardback, so I got this. I, I'm gonna, let's see what it looks like under the desk jacket. Ooh, I like that a lot better under the desk jacket. Look at that. That is so freaking cool. That is so cool. I love the black and white and red. Oh, wow. I much prefer that over the dust jacket, actually. That is awesome. There's that. Okay. That was also on sale, by the way. Um, then I got The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Torton? Torton? Um, this was not on sale, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, it's basically about this person. Um, it says, Evelyn Hardcastle will be murdered at 11 p.m. There are eight days and eight witnesses for you to inhabit. We will only let you escape once you tell us the name of the killer. Understood? Then let's begin. So, yeah, this sounds really good. Really interesting. Mis murder mystery. I love me some murder mysteries, so. And this one's actually quite popular. I don't usually get books off of popularity, but I saw, like, what it's about, and I was like, oh, if I ever get the chance, I'm definitely trying to read this. And this thrift store has some really good books. I'm super excited to read this. I know it's not really popular on booktube anymore, but I don't care. Again, I don't buy books on the popular. I say that as I'm pulling out another popular book. Anyway, I also have, I also got Dead Until Dark by Charlene Harris. I love this cover. Not why I got it, but I love this cover. Apparently, this is actually, um from the true blood series which i've not seen true blood yet um but i'm really excited i love that cover though it's so sleek slick sleek I, th I think you say sleek it's so sleek and clean and i'm so excited to read this it seems super good isn't i'm pretty sure vampires can read minds in this so <laughs> i'm excited if you can't tell i love vampire fiction it's like my favorite I love horror, but I love anything to do with vampires. I just, I love vampire fiction. That's, I love vampires. <laughs> anyway, I also got this, which is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Not in the best condition, but it was like 89 cents, but plus it was on sale, so it was, I paid less than 89 cents. But, um... Yeah, I think this is the first book in the... This is actually a novelization, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, I'm super excited to read this. Um, I want to get into Buffy the Vampire Slayer because it seems like a really good series. And very popular vampire fiction. So, moving on to the next thing. Um, I do collect Arl Stein's books. I don't collect Goosebumps anymore. I'm just not a huge fan of Goosebumps, but I collect all of Arl Stein's other books. So, I got Fear Street, Goodnight Kiss, Collector's Edition, which includes two super chillers, Goodnight Kiss and Goodnight Kiss 2, plus a new story by Arl Stein. I love this. Look how shiny that is. And then also... Look at that. Oh, that is awesome. Oh my gosh, yes. I love it. Anyway, I'm really excited to read this. You know, part of his um, Fear Street series um, that I'm very excited to read more of. So, this is awesome. I'm so excited to read this. Um, moving on, I also got some more Fear Street books. What was that? I don't know. Anyway, I got College Weekend. I love all the covers for the Fair Street books. There's just something about them that I love. 
So, yeah, very, very nice. She was just dying to visit her boyfriend. Ooh, I'm super excited. Oh, a nice addition to the collection. Then I got High Tide, which I love the cover for. Uh, this is me. That's me feeling like a third wheel with my two friends. Yep, that's me. I love this. It's in pretty good condition, too, like, actually. Yeah, that's in pretty good condition. I'm so excited to read this. A life job's job. A lifeguard's job can be murder. Oh, I'm so excited! Okay. <laughs> and then I also got Fear Hall, the beginning, which is, um, this looks like an older Fear Street book. Definitely. I wonder if this is a first edition. I don't know. It could be a mass market, and I just don't know. This looks awesome. I've never seen a Goosebumps book with that kind of lettering before. So it says, the first part of a shocking two-part special. Ooh, it's a special. Cool. I really love this cover. I say that for all the books, but it's the truth. Okay, moving on. I also got James Patterson, I Funny, A Middle School Story. Um, this is just another, it's very similar to Middle School, The Worst Years of My Life, except, um, it's literally, like, the same. <laughs> like, it's just words, jokes about middle school, and illustrations. So, that's fun. I mean, I'm gonna go in high school later this year, so might as well read as many books about middle school that I can before I go into high school. Alright, moving on. Um, I also got Patricia... Pat oh my god. Also, isn't it kind of weird how I'm 14 and I just read books about murder all the time? I know. Some people think that's very odd. I don't... I mean, come on. I feel like most people my age read books about murder. You know? Okay, anyway. I got um, Patricia Court... Patri oh my gosh. Patricia Cornwell's Portrait of a Killer, which is, um, Jack the Ripper, you know, very, very cool, it actually comes with photos, so, that's cool, just, uh, I'll show, ooh, look at that, actually, I don't think I can show that, <laughs> never mind, um, but anyway, Portrait of a Killer, Patricia Cornwell. This is exciting. It's one of her true crime novels about Jack the Ripper. I'm really excited. I really want to learn more about Jack the Ripper, um, because he's a serial killer I don't know that much about. So I must learn. Anyway, oh, don't want that in the frame. Okay. Ah, it's still in the frame. Gosh dang it. Okay, moving on. I actually have, um, another... Fear Street book that I forgot to show. Runaway it says, There's nowhere to hide. I really like this cover as well. It's not my favorite, but I still quite enjoy this cover. Sorry if you hear that, there's a motorcycle going by, but um, I quite enjoy this. It's not my favorite Fear Street cover, but I still really like it pretty good um condition as well actually it's actually a little surprising anyway that is awesome super exciting um and i think wait nope that's not it <laughs> i got one more book to show and then i think i'm done the girl who chased away sorrow the diary of serenetta this is a Dear America book. I collect. This is another book series that I read. So, this was just another addition to the collection, you know? Because I love reading Dear America books. They're just very fascinating to me. Um, 
and also I also got Percy Jackson and the Olympians the demigod files which I think this is really for my mom's collection but she lets me borrow her books so I might as well show it off she got this um it's very tiny look at that it's definitely tiny but still exciting anyway those are all the books that I got let me show you guys look at all these books oh my gosh I'm so excited to read all these books um these are just they seem like really really good books and I'm super super excited to read all of them they're all gonna be fantastic I can feel it in my bones even the ones that I know are probably gonna be trashy I'm gonna enjoy so I guess it doesn't you know what I mean like I don't love every single book I read, but I do love me some trashy books. <laughs> um, anyway, I think the mm, five, okay, I'm going to pick my top two books I'm most excited to read. No, I'll do five. Okay. No, okay. The books I'm most excited about are definitely... Night World, um, Dead Until Dark, The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle, and also Moonlight. Those are what I'm most excited about. Oh, and also Good Night Kiss. Mm -hmm. And Jack the Ripper, you know, that true crime book about Jack the, Ripper. Jack the Ripper. Those are what I'm most excited about, but I'm excited for all the books. I'm so excited. Okay, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this book haul. I had a lot of fun um, doing this video, and I really do hope you guys enjoy it um, as much as I enjoy, how, how much, as much as I'm going to enjoy reading all these books. Um, anyway, if you guys want to see any reviews of any of these books like let me know because i will do them if you think i would have a good opinion on books probably not but um you probably wouldn't think that reader oh also this book i found a bookmark in it look isn't that so cute that is adorable <clears throat> anyway um yeah if you guys want me to review any of these books let me know and i will maybe do it. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye!